Hello, Smoke Cartel. Today we're going to be discussing hand pipes. Hand pipes are probably the classic OG smoking tool that were used by your parents and your grandparents and your other grandparents. This is often colloquially referred to as smoking a bowl. The first and probably most basic type of hand pipe is called a spoon. This is the basic hand pipe usually you find at a gas station or probably the one that your cousin had that one time you smoked with him. Obviously, it has a spoon like shape. It also has a very deep bowl right here and it has a car on the side and the stem is pretty short so this is the easiest most portable way to smoke but also you're getting dry uh, pretty harsh smoke because there's not a lot of filtration it also just has this one very tiny hole which gets plugged up with resin very easily pros of having a spoon is that they are affordable probably any design you could possibly fathom in the universe is represented somehow by some type of spoon some of them have little frogs on them that's a not a large category, and their size. Um, they're really good for beginners, but you pretty much take smoking down to its basics. Cons of having a hand pipe, they clog easily, they get dirty pretty quickly, dry, hard smoke. Again, they're very easy to clean. They're much easier to clean than a larger piece. The next one is called a Gandalf. Gandalfs are very long, ornate pipes named after everyone's favorite bearded fantasy character, Dumbledore. Pros of having a Gandalf. You get kind of a smoother smoking experience because of the long stem. Uh, which kind of filters the smoke as it goes from the bowl into your mouth. They're affordable. They're really not too much more expensive than hand pipes, even though you get a lot more with it. Cons are they're a little large, so they're not easy to travel with or store, and they can break easily. I mean, look at this thing. They're pretty thick, so if you're careful, it's usually not a big deal. What? No, I'm just kidding. The next one is called a Sherlock. One of the best things about a Sherlock is that it makes you feel like a detective solving a murder or a very thoughtful professor and also has a curved design. Pros of having a Sherlock are the curvature. The steep curve cools the smoke before it gets to your mouth, and the steeper the curve, the cooler the smoke. The angle of the curvature can also have an impact on the flavor of the smoke, and obviously the design. So every Sherlock is gonna be a little different. They're comfortable. Sherlock's are probably one of the easiest pipes to hold in your hand. You can also get a Sherlock bubbler where you add water. Cons of having a Sherlock, they're very difficult to clean. Unfortunately, Sherlock's are designed almost perfectly to trap resin in the bottom, uh, and that can be very difficult to remove, but I've gotten it out successfully many times with an overnight isopropyl alcohol soak. The next type is a Chillum. They are very small, very short hand pipes. Um, that can really only hold one or two hits. Pros of having a Chillum are they're small. They can fit in your pocket, which is nice. They probably smell bad. Cons are they're small. Um, if you want something bigger, buy something bigger. They can be smelly because they don't really have, I mean, everything. Um, I, don't, I don't agree with that. It's, it's not, of course it's gonna smell. It's weed. The next type is a cigarette. Just kidding, it's a one hitter that looks like a cigarette. Most people enjoy these because they are the most discreet way to smoke because they're disguised as another object. Pros, they're dirt cheap. The next type is a bubbler. Bubblers are probably actually my favorite because they combine water pipe with a regular hand pipe. What you do is you fill this part with water um, and the rest just functions like a normal hand pipe. Pros are because it uses water, that makes them probably the smoothest type of hand pipe to smoke out of. One of the cons that I always notice personally with bubblers is that it can be difficult to fill them with water and drain out the water because it has this hole right here for the mouthpiece, but it also has both obviously of these holes at the top. So if like for this one, for example, if you turn it over like this and try to get the water to come out of the thing, then you're gonna be inhaling the bong water. If you try to dump it out this way, your bowl gets wet and then it also just starts coming out the mouthpiece anyway. So it's a little convoluted to figure out how to, I never really figured out how to do that. Maybe I'm just stupid. I mean, my little paper says that it can break easily, but I personally don't think they're that easy to break. They're very thick and they're bigger. So that's our very basic overview of hand pipes. Uh, check them out on our website. We've got probably a hundred million thousand of them. Uh, so you're definitely gonna find something that you like. You can buy a bunch if you want. Um, and a lot of people like to accrue a collection of hand pipes. You can really use it as an opportunity to express your individual style. Good stuff, check it out. Have a great day, folks.